Uh, hi, hello. So now I'm going to explain about SAP automation. So in the integration part, so this is how the SAP logon system. This is the SAP logon pad. So it consists of the different connections, which are uh, useful in order to connect to the remote SAP server. So I have some configurations which are inbuilt in it. So this is uh, my server application server details and this is the instance and this is the system id so just click on so once you select this and click on this logon then you can log on you can connect to the sap system which is remotely placed so those are the server details like uh, which i just shown you so i'll just show you how to integrate with the sap system and try to spy using the sap mode so i'll just close this I'll create a new business object and name it as SAP Automation Integration. So click on next and give the description as SAP. So double click on your business object. Select action one, click on this application navigator, give your application a name and take and select the option as Windows application because this is a Windows application. So the logon pad which we need to connect to the SAP remote server. So this is a window based application. So select the Windows application, click next. My application is launched from an executable file. Yes. And pass the path. So this is my .exe file path. So click on next next finish now try to launch your application so my application is launched now see you can see the sd here the system name is already defaultly selected so if you have multiple systems here so which are useful in order to connect to the remote sap server so you need to select the unique key one and you need to click on this login so in my case here the SD is by default is selected when when I launch this SAP logon pad. So you need to select this logon button and try to automate. So name the element as logon. Try to, to identify this element. So so I successfully spied this element. Click on OK. Now try to configure tell this. So launch your application name it as launch drag and drop your application name click on launch key so put some wait condition once it's launched select the logon button click on press Try to link up. Put some wait condition in order to load your application. So put some five arbitrary wait timeout. Okay. Reset now. Run your application. Now your application is launched. The logon button is clicked now your sap application has been launched okay now try to spy more elements so name your action as launch take the new page name it as login So try to spy the username field. See, now your spying mode was default is in Win32. So when I try to click on Alt, I get a pop-up which states that a script is trying to attach to the GUI. So if you click on Cancel, now again, when you click on Alt, another pop-up appears. So until you click on this OK, the pop continuously appears. Click on this OK. Now, 
try to change the mode SAP mode is enabled but I could not spy this element so there is a configuration needs to be done so I'll just show you click on control and right click in order to avoid this spying thing click on apply and click on ok now try to manually sign in into your SAP application click on now go to transaction code RZ11 and click on this enter so mention some user pra user parameters which are SAP GUI slash user and school scripting click on display so check the current value this is in false so this should be in true in order to access the user scripting with the SAP system so click on change value and you can see the current value is false so this is the current value which is in false and change that into true so, and click on the save click on enter now the value was changed from false to true okay now come back and click on this window button in order to avoid the pop-ups which are which are occurring frequently click on this options and in uh, under accessibility and scripting there is a scripting so uncheck this notify not, notify when script attaches to GUI then you can avoid the pop-ups click on ok and click on log off now try to launch from the scratch reset run Now my application has been launched successfully. Now I need to spy these elements. Go to application navigator. Click on username. Click on identify. Change the alt. Now you can see SAP mode is enabled and now I can try identify these elements. create one more field for password click on identify change the mode to ACP and identify the element click on apply and create a new element for enter click on identify SAP mode is enabled and this is the enter button so remember carefully whatever the fields you spy here are reusable because in SAP every page has similar kinds of values okay click on apply and click on highlight now I can highlight the spied element you can see the enter is the SAP button password is the SAP password field username is the SAP text box so you can see these attributes are not changing is an event for text field and the button the component type and ID are the same so there are only two attributes will be present in SAP so this might be your interview question you face click on OK or try to write the code for it take a read stage write stage pass the elements name it as credentials create a new child name it as password create a new child name it as user drag and drop into the user field drag and drop into the password field click on ok Now pass the username. This is encrypted. As I took the data type as password. So put some wait condition here in order to know ourselves that we have entered the valid credentials. So now I need to click on enter.
mention some arbitrary time as five seconds. Pass the enter. Name test login. Click on OK. Now run this. See, the credentials has been passed. Now the arbitrary time is running. And the enter is clicked. Now I was into the SAP system. So this is called a transaction box. This is a completed successfully. And this is the transaction bar box, which is very important. So we deal with the transaction codes. So whatever you wanted to do in using SAP system, like creating a material or creating a sales order or creating the purchase order or creating a vendor or a customer. So you need to pass the exact transaction code and click on this enter and do some data manipulations using the Excel. So I hope you have gone through this session. So thank you for watching and goodbye.